I love celeries. I love celeries because you can store lots of different kinds of information in one variable. So say I'm keeping like a secret file on my best friend. Okay, so I can't spell. All right, I'm keeping a secret file on my best friend. Okay, my best friend's name is, 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 um, Gumbo. Sorry, couldn't come up with anything. And my secret best friend makes $75,000 a year. And my secret, or my, my secret file, my best friend, I found out that my best friend's um, lottery numbers are, um, there's only three. Is it pick three? Is there a pick three? Then my, my, my friend's pick three numbers are this, this, and this. And um, what else is really creepy? My secret file, my best friend, my best friend um, likes puppies. Okay. There we go. Now look, all that works. <laughs> So basically what I did is I put everything that I know in brackets and then I just put in random stuff and hit enter and it worked. It's kind of weird, but you know, yay. Um, so now if I want to get this information, I can just pull it out of my secret files. So if I pull one, and again, I'm using the curly braces, then I get gumbo. If I do two, I get their salary. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. If I do three, it tells me 832. And if I do four, it tells me true. Um, you might say, well, what if I want to know the second or this um, two for the one, one by three? So I could say one by three, and that will give me their, their, the second, the first row, third column. So I could even make like another one that was like an actual matrix. And then I could be like, secret file my best friend part five if I want to know what is the first row or the second row third column I'll just make it or second row whatever I don't know what I'm doing I'm creepy because I'm keeping secret files on my best friend first row third column three um, second row first column eight it could even be a multi-dimensional array with multiple pages but cell arrays are kind of fun. They're also kind of nice. I don't actually use them to keep secret files on my best friend. Um, what I'm most likely to use um, a cell array for is to um, have text of different lengths. So here's some text stuff. So if I wanted to just use like a regular um, uh, to, do, to do matrix, my friend who's named Gumbo and then Copernicus, and B B Bob, sorry. Um, if I just did that, first of all, it would put all the names together and I'd be like, but wait, I'll just do this and I'll put them on different rows. And then I'd run it and I'd get an error. And that's basically because if I line them up, Gumbo, Copernicus, and Bob have different lengths. So if I really wanted this to work, there's some other ways to do it, but they're all stupid. That's not true if you have a favorite other way. So now it works, but now I got all this extra stuff at the end, and I really didn't want it there. So another way that I could do it is I could say better text stuff is I could say Gumbo and Copernicus and Bob, and I could put it in cell arrays, and then I can keep that information separately. So if I wanted to pull Bob's name, I would pull the third one, and I would get Bob. Good? Makes sense? Exciting.